Hi everybody and welcome to my Android phone, my old Android phone and on this video I'm going to show you how you can edit uh, the spawn rate on your Nachado PS4 um, Daisy Xbox or PlayStation server because I know you, lots of you guys out there have probably bought custom servers especially for Xbox maybe you haven't got a laptop or a PC to actually do the editing and you can do it from your mobile device using the Nitrado app so download the Nitrado app and uh, go in and see you've got your, got your services here and then all we want to do is just choose the one we want to fiddle with so we'll go and fiddle with the Xbox One one so here's the dashboard and then all I want to do is you want to go down to the file browser this is getting us into the game so Daisy Xbox Mission folder tap on that and then this is a, a Livonia server, so it's called Enoch. If it's Chinaris, it will be Chinaris offline. So we tap on that. And then we want to go into the DB folder, that top one. So we tap on DB. And then the one, the file we're interested in is types.xml. This is the folder that controls all of the respawning of items on our server, how many there are. However, the very first thing we need to do is back this up. Now, it's a little bit complicated, this, but it's very, very important. If you don't back up the file, do not fiddle with it, okay? Do not fiddle with it. So, you press and hold on types, and you want to... At the moment, the way, only way you can do it is you download it first. So, you download the file, and then when you're... Um, when it says it's complete, go into your download file on your phone... And then for me, for example, I go to, where is it? Oh, open with files, yeah, it's already said open with files, yep, just once, thank you. In fact, I'll put always. So there it is, types.xml, just downloaded that, so press and hold that, and then I want to rename it. So we're going to call it types backup. Oh, I can type properly. And then we're going to put today's date. So is it the 16th day? 14th? So, 16th. So I'm going to put 160220. Okay, obviously I'm using the British way of doing it. So we say OK. Then we go back to our Nitrado app. And then we're going to upload here. So we tick upload. And hopefully then it will go back to your downloads. You might have to find your downloads folder or wherever your phone keeps your folders that you've put in. Tap on that one. Do we want to upload it? Yes. Give it a couple of seconds. And this is this is such an important step. I can't stress enough how do not fiddle with any of the files on your DayZ server unless you've got a backup. So there we go. So as you can see, I previously did the backup on the 14th of February, and my backup for today, the 16th of February, is there. So if something goes wrong, I can easily just revert to that. Because when you're doing this on a mobile phone, it's very, very easy to make mistakes. So we tap on types, and I would recommend this. Don't do this on a phone. Do it on your laptop. I'll, I'll put a link um, at some point in the description down below to my video on how you should how do you do this on a laptop or a PC it's much easier right so we're in the file okay so I'm just going to explain what the what, what this file is so it's a big long text files basically it's an XML file and what this file does is it tells your version of Daisy what it should spawn and how many it should how many items it should spawn in basically that's what it does um, and it just goes on and on and on and on and on. And there's loads of different things. But if we if we look at the top item, that will probably be the same on your one. Oop, let me just get rid of my keyboard. Um, so you can see it says type. Type. So then we've got type name, ACOG optic. So this is a scope. Now nominal, right, this is how many should be on your server at any one time. Yours might say 10, I've increased mine to 15 already. So it should have, on your server, there should be, whatever this number is, so in my case, 15 ACOG optics at any one time should be on my DayZ map. Lifetime. So this is how long in seconds an ACOG scope will, will stay on your map, or stay on my map, until it despawns. 
So not very long, 7,200 seconds. Was that over 10 minutes, isn't it? And something else will go there. Restock. So what this means is when the server is repopulating, which is respawning um, ACOG optics onto the map, it will only do one every 1,800 seconds. And the minimum is 8. So what that means is that although the nominal value is 15, so there should be 15 on the server, it will only start adding more in when it gets down to 8. And when it gets down to 8, it will add one in, then it will wait 1,800 seconds, then it will add another one in, and then it will add another one in after that. Now, quant min and quant max, you can see in this case, are minus 1. Quant min and quant max relate to items that have things inside them. For example, water bottles or um, magazines for guns or pistols or assault rifles that, or SMGs, that sort of thing. Obviously, an ACOG site doesn't have anything in, inside it. It could come with a battery if it's that sort of site, but this one, um, that's not how this works. If this was a canteen, the value relates to the percentage that it is full. So if you had a water bottle, for example, and you put a quant min as 50 and a quant max as, as 80, that would mean it would spawn in with either with between 50 and 80% full of water. So you could have a magazines, for example, you could go in and you could change all your magazines so that they you could have a quant min of 100 and a quant max of 100. So they always spawn in with full of the ammo that they take. I would probably recommend you do something like quant min 90, quant max 100. Okay, and so now in this case it's minus one because that's telling the server that the, the quant min quant max don't apply to this particular item. Flags. Now the flags are telling your server actually when you're counting the number of ACOG optics on the map, these are the things I want you to count. And in this bit it means that zero means no and one means yes. So it's saying, well, if so, if it's in the, if it's in some cargo, so if it's in uh, yeah, that, that probably means like a box or a, or a barrel or something like that. Don't count them. If it's there in a hoarder, which probably means if it's been buried, don't count them. Count in maps one, so it's saying, yeah, if it's on the map, count it. If it's on a player, don't count it. And if it's been made, don't count it. And dilute, I think, means damage. So if it's dilute, don't count it. So if in this case, with ACOG optics, if... Um, everybody had um, uh, had them on their persons, you know, people had found them and had them on their guns and they're carrying them, the map wouldn't take those into account when it's deciding how many to respawn in. It wouldn't count them at all. It only counts ones that are on the map. Because imagine with some items fairly soon, you wouldn't have any spawning in again if it always counted ones that people had buried or they had on their persons. However, when you go through and you check this file, you will see that certain things are counted whether on people's persons. Now, when you're doing this, make sure that, I would always say, have count in map as one. If you don't have at least that one as one, there's a chance you're going to crash your server because you're, the item that you're changing, in this case, Acroscopes, is just going to keep spawning in and spawning in and spawning in and spawning in until the server crashes. So, I'm going to make a change to this one. I'm going to change it back to 10. There we go. So I'm happy with that. Now, the hardest thing when you're doing this on a mobile phone is the, is finding the things you want to find because you've literally got to go along. Now, let's go down here. Oh, the, sorry. The one thing I did miss was, was cost, wasn't it? Oh, let's go back up to the top. So you also have cost. What that means is that um, is this uh, what's the priority for the server to, to actually to uh, spawn this in? So 100 means yes, absolutely you should do it. 50 would be see actually no, you don't really need to spawn this in. So it tends to be 100 for lots of things. Now I tell you what, let's look at the next one. So the next one is the AK101 rifle. So for the AK101, there's only ever going to be five on your map at one time. <laughs> which is pretty good isn't it which is pretty sorry it's pretty bad pretty low um they last 10800 and um until they despawn and it waits 1800 seconds between despawning and the minimum is 2 
Quantum min and quant max is minus one because it doesn't have anything inside it. Obviously, it could have something attached to it, but nothing inside it. And the cost is 100, it's high priority. However, if we look at the flags count, in cargo one, count in hoarder one. Um, so that means if people have put these in a barrel or they've buried them, it will count them as being part of the map. So with AK-101s, if you know five of them get buried by players or put in barrels, you're never going to get them spawning into the map again because the server will always count them. So that may be something that you want to change in cargo to zero, count in hoarder to zero, but leave count in map to one. So you'll always have five spawning in for people to try out. Now, the next one is, is a good example. So the next one is the AK-101 Black. Now, you'll come across items that are in the... Uh, in this file, in the types file, that aren't in the game at the moment. And the coloured weapons are one of those things. So you'll see with this, it will say nominal zero, restock zero, minimum zero. Right? It's probably best not to mess around with these because if you try and put them into the game, they might not work properly. There might not be the right skin in the files to load in. So, you know, probably best at this point. Don't mess around with them. Just leave them as none. You know, you're going to be able to get plenty of other weapons. So, like AK-101 Green. You know, that's not in the game at the moment. Leave it alone. So, you go through and you look for things like... Um, here we go. There we go. So, the AK-74. There should be there should be 10. They'll last 10,000 seconds before they despawn. And they'll, they'll spawn, respawn in every 1,800 seconds. And you should have 5... And there you go, if you see the flags counting, cargo one, count order. So what I would say with that is maybe you want to put up to 30. And you want to change the restock to zero, so they all come in at the same time. So there we go. Now, when you've made your change, just press save. And then you want to restart your server. So you would hit save, like this. It doesn't really tell you what's going on. Then you want to go back to dashboard. And you'd want to restart the server for it to take into effect. Obviously, if you've got players on there, tell them in your Discord or however you do that, that you are doing that sort of thing. Wrong button. However, when you are making these changes, don't make drastic changes. Don't all of a sudden put a 1,000 M4s on the map. Don't suddenly spawn in 20,000 zombies. Don't spawn in 500 chickens or, or, or 200 bears. Because at some point the system just stops working just change just be subtle you know double the amount of a certain weapon you don't need to double all the weapons you don't need double shotguns do you or double pistols and things like that just pick a few weapons and then maybe double or triple amount they are you know increase the number of compasses do all the the, the stuff that makes the quality of life better for people you know maybe the number of knives maybe increase the food a little bit but don't go mad and just do a bit and then do some testing and ask the people who are on your server how things are going. <laughs> Is there anything odd happening? And then make adjustments. And if stuff goes wrong, go back to that backup. Um, delete the types.xml that you've done. Rename the backup file to types and then you'll be good to go. Okay, so hopefully that's useful for mobile users, especially for those of you I know on Xbox who, who, um, who buy the DAISY servers through the Xbox app. Because you can't really edit it on the Xbox because you know, you're trying to type things with a controller. Often you'll be using your phone. And this way is, is, is a fairly cool way of doing it. So anyway, if you've got any questions or comments, please put them in the comments section down below. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon.